She's a homemaker, don't you know? She'll teach you how to cook and sew, and how to wield a hammer. It's the June the Homemaker Show. Hello, and welcome to the June the Homemaker Show. Today on June the Homemaker, I'm going to teach you how to do something which is really important, which is to get beads back on those dangly things that you have on your clothes sometimes, okay? For instance, I have this skirt. It is black, so it is not easy to see, but you can probably see the little blue beads. Over on this side, there's a thing, a string, like a beaded string. It has these little beady guys on it, see? So there's a knot on one end, then there's bead, 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 and then a knot on the other end. And you know, you wash it and you wash it, and the knot starts to come out, and you pull on it a little bit, and you think, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to try and keep this thing together, cross your fingers, and then you come out of the laundry one day, and it looks like this. So one of them is fine, and one of them is not fine. So I am going to teach you how to get this thing back on today. So ordinarily, if I have to string something fat through something little, like this, then the first two places I go are to my tweezers and to a safety pen. So first, I tried um, braiding this back together and putting a safety pin through it and then trying to get that back through the bead. Only well, the problem is, safety pin was too big for the bead. It wouldn't fit. And also, I tried getting my little tweezers and putting those through the bead to try and grab the thing from the other side. But the problem was that the tweezers couldn't grab on the other side. And then I remembered a thing that Mom the Homemaker taught me a long time ago, which was to put scotch tape around the end of the thing and wind it really tight and then just poke it through, which is going to work perfectly for this. Because since it has this little frayed end, it was going to be kind of a pain to get it through the other thing in the first place. So the first thing we're going to do is braid it back up which I've mostly done, try and get it as braided together as possible. And then we're gonna, we're gonna kind of push everything together. Then I've got this piece of scotch tape. Lay it into the scotch tape, okay? Wrap the scotch tape around. Now, just wrap it as tightly as you possibly can so that it is super duper small. Don't worry if the little frayed bits on the end are a little bit messy for now. Um, they'll be fine after they go through the thing again. So then I'm going to wrap this around. Then on the end of the thing, we have this little guy, this little guide guy. Then you just take your bead, you push it through the bead, and ta-da! It works! Thanks, Mom the Homemaker! Woo! Then we have this little guy on the end of the bead. So now we just have to tie a knot in the end again, which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. And I don't think we can do it while the scotch tape is on here. So I'm going to undo the scotch tape. Try and do this part without the scotch tape breaking. Get a little bit of scroll action going on here. Okay. I'm going to wrap this guy around my tweezers. Tweeze the frayed ends so that you've got them all, and then just pull it through, I hope. Come on, tweezy guys, you can do it. Work it, work it. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. And we got a knot back. Mmm. I'm bringing knots back. You. Yeah. I'm pulling and I'm pulling. Woo! And then check it out. Here it is. And here's the original one. Look, they're the same. Isn't that exciting? So basically, what we did is we covered the frayed end in scotch tape, put it back through the beads wrapped the string around the tweezers to get the to get the knot back again and then we have a strand that's good as new so this technique will work for skirts obviously but also for things like winter coats or snow pants or other things that have like dangly threads on them because you know those threads always lose their knots and then it's like oh rats everything is fraying well now you know how to put a knot back in and the 
scotch tape thing will work for almost any bead, you know? So now you know how to do that. And I'm convinced that Mom the Homemaker is just constantly coming up with things because I told her that I was going to do this episode today. And I said, well, I tried using a safety pen and I tried using the tweezers, so I'm going to wrap scotch tape around it and put it through. And she said, that sounds like it's going to work. And I said, well, Mom, that's what you told me to do a long time ago. And she said, oh, that's why it sounds like such a good idea. Must be hard getting old. <laughs> It's okay, because she's laughing. You'll um, see. <laughs> You'll find out. So this is June the Homemaker. Oh, this is the other one. Hello. So this is June the Homemaker. Now you know how to fix a bead strand on a thing. If you have any episode requests, just send them to me, and I will do an episode about them. Also, hello to all the new people who have subscribed. We had three people in the last week who are new subscribers, so hello to you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and be my friend on Facebook, and check out my website, which is ladiesofthehouse.org, for updates and blogs. This week we have a guest blog from Liz, who talks about putting on a party. So this is June the Homemaker. You now know how to do all this, and I am signing off. Bye!